What's up, everyone? Um, I want to say sorry for missing last week's episode, but I had some work-related problems and couldn't make it. So the boat sat for a week, whatever. On this episode, we're going to put a new floor in to fill in the gap, and then we're going to try to start the engine with the new wiring harness and see how that happens. This will be a two-day two day video because when I cut the floor, I'm going to have to put some resin on it to waterproof it before I put it down. So, yeah. So here's the plywood. And then, like I said earlier in the earlier videos, I'm trying to fill this gap between there and there. So it's a level floor. But yeah, we'll see. What do we do? Sorry about that. I got a new gimbal and it's starting to, I don't know how to work it yet. So we're still trying to figure it out. So first I'm gonna stick you guys on a time-lapse and we're gonna measure the wood and take a couple measurements from left, to right, center, cut it out and see if it fits. Now let me say that before anybody says anything, the floor is fine, it's not soft. I'm only putting this plywood in to make the floor level all the way across the boot. And that's the only reason. But I say it fits pretty well. So now we just gotta make this tiny little strip right here. And it is a little low, but I do plan on I'm gonna put some like glue and foam and shit underneath of it and it should help it. And then the edges, I'm gonna do some Bondo and everything before to make everything flat and smooth before I fiberglass the entire thing. There is a pretty sizable gap right here, but if I put this half inch piece of plywood on top of this three quarter then it's only a little bit and i only have to come up a little bit and i think that'll work a whole lot better and i got my boss bringing me a half inch piece because i don't own a truck so whatever and then in the meantime we'll just get this little piece cut and see what happens As you can see, it's coming out pretty good. Got three different pieces. I got a smaller one, the side one, and this big one. Like I said, I'm gonna put another half inch sheet of plywood on top of it to make it all level. And then when I get the half inch sheet, stagger it on this side to cover this side, put the little pieces on there, so it's all structurally sound. And then let's get this up, get this plywood up clean out underneath, get all the screws out, scrape all the extra things off, and get ready to resin it and get, put it down tomorrow. Now 
Okay, now that it's all clean and ready to go, now I'll just wait for my boss to get here and we can start with that second sheet of plywood and get it going. Well, I got the other sheet of plywood. So now I'm gonna put the old ones back in and measure and offset it, screw them together. And then when I do that, I'll take it back out. We'll resin the bottom of it and everything before I put it in permanently tomorrow. As you can see, floor is now put in. It, uh, it actually is pretty little more, more level than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna have to raise it up more, but it's gonna work out pretty well, actually. So now I'm gonna go through, screw it all together, and then take it out. And when I take it out, I'll uh, flip it over, put some resin on it, and we'll put it in tomorrow. Okay, got it all screwed together. You see me just flip it over. So now I'm gonna go get all the resin stuff ready. I'm gonna put some resin on it, let it dry overnight. After that, I'm gonna get the wiring harness and we're gonna see if that engine turns over. All right, everyone, I got the resin and I, I'm using the Bondo glass, fiberglass resin. And that's just what's available to me at the Home Depot. And if you are gonna use this, it's one teaspoon to one ounce of resin, one teaspoon of hardener to one ounce of red, resin. And then it should, like it says on there, should be sandable in two hours and ready to go in two hours. So we might be able to put this floor in today instead of tomorrow. Okay, it's all resin, ready to go. Now I just gotta wait for it to dry. Now I'll be back later with the start, try to start the engine. I gotta take my sister to work, but I'll be right back. For you to be like one second. All right, I'm back. And we're gonna try to hook up the controls that I got to make sure that the new wiring harness hooks up. And for those of you that don't know, you take your positive red wire and you hook it to the top of the starter solenoid. If I can get it started. Maybe. And then you find a spot somewhere on the engine for the ground wire. 
Now I just so happen to be using a factory ground. Just take the nut off, put it on. Now I'm not gonna start the engine. I know it already works. So I'm not worried about that. I just wanna see if the new wiring harness that I got will actually turn the motor over or if I'm missing something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Just give it a nice little snug, it doesn't gotta be too tight. Yes, I know I need some new tools. Can't find anything in the toolbox that I got. That ain't going anywhere. Now I do have a CDI electronics adapter harness to go from the Joss and Emma route to the wiring harness. I got this wiring harness off of Amazon. Then I got the throttle control with the starter and everything off of Amazon too. So now let's hook it up and see what happens. Okay, bringing the wiring harness over to the motor and I'm gonna try to hook it up. You got you got the black plug which goes to the red main plug on the on the motor. You got this blue one that goes to the trim and power trim and tilt on that. There's two little arrows. You line the arrows up and that's where they go. And then this has a flat bottom flat bottom line them up that's where they go okay now let's go back over here stretch all this up I'm gonna hook the rest of the things up to the throttle control you got your main harness here you got your trim and tilt right here and next thing to do is to hook up the battery can't find the channel locks I just had, so I guess we're going to use some needle nose. That should be plenty. All right, let's see if, let's see if this works. It actually works. Look at that. All right, let's try to turn it over. Well, as you can see, it turns over. Good enough for me. All right, let's move on. At least it works. Okay, since the resin is dry on the floor, I'm gonna sand the floor, give it a rough surface, 
put some adhesive down, some spray foam. Spray foam's not for structure. It's just to fill in the extra spaces before anybody loses their mind about it. And then after the floor, we'll be done for this week. All right, as you've seen on the last time lapse, I got the floor in, I got the braces in to make it level with everything else. Now, just let it dry. Next weekend, we'll get it, everything scraped off the boat so we can uh, put fiberglass the whole thing. And that's it for this week. Now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Everybody have a nice week.